Charlie Rowley is the man who, along with his partner, Dawn Sturgis, was exposed to Novichok in the village of Amesbury, which is close to Salisbury, back on the 30th of June. And they were both very ill. They were taken to Salisbury District Hospital, which happens to be the same hospital where Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were treated for exposure to the same nerve agent back in March. Um, Charlie Rowley's partner, Dawn Sturgis, died as a result of this incident on the 8th of July. And although he had been in a critical state in hospital for a number of weeks, the hospital has now announced that he is well enough to go home and that he's been discharged. Doctors at Salisbury District Hospital released a statement saying that Charlie's been through an appalling experience that most of us could never imagine. But this marks an important milestone in his recovery and they wish him all the best. It also goes on to thank the clinical team. However, the advice to local residents remains unchanged, and that is do not pick up any items such as syringes, needles, cosmetics, or similar objects made of plastic, metal. So there is clearly still a degree of mystery about how Charlie Rowley and his partner Dawn Sturgis became exposed to the nerve agent in the first place. A week ago, the Metropolitan Police confirmed that they had found a small bottle that they believe was the source of the contamination. And that appears to correspond to interviews that Charlie Rowley's brother has given to the media, saying that when he'd visited Charlie Rowley in hospital, he had said that he seemed to recall giving his partner a small perfume bottle just before they became very unwell. Whether or not that bottle was the source of the nerve agent used to attack the Skripals or whether it was from the same batch is still very much unclear. And in recent days, there's been intense speculation in the UK media about the investigation into that original attack uh, on the Skripals. Um, leaks from the police probe claim that investigators have used CCTV images to identify two Russian culprits who allegedly fled the UK immediately after the attack on the Skripals. But there hasn't been any official statements from the police here or from the authorities to back that up. In fact, the UK's security minister, Ben Wallace, has dismissed those leaks about these alleged perpetrators being identified as ill-informed and wild speculation.